when you have completed your table, as I have done so here, what you'll have found out is the cross sectional area across those five different points. Next thing we're going to do is use Simpson's rule for volume. Okay. And what that is, is the interval over three. So we're taking a look at the interval of the spacings. 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. So it's 25 meter spacings. So 25 divided by three. So that's where that's coming into this equation. What we then use is the first reading. So the first reading we have taken is 13.781. I've populated that there, plus the last reading, and again, I've added those two figures together, plus two times the odd readings, okay? So if we have the first reading as odd, but that's accounted for, an even reading, and then our next odd reading. So you'll see two times your odd reading, so your odd reading is 6.026. Plus four times your even reading. So we have two even readings that aren't accounted for. And that's the figure there we're going to use. And that's the figure there we're going to use. So four times 11.464 plus 3.266. We move down. So as you can see here, I've added those two together. Your first and last. Your two times your odd reading. And we've summed up the four times our even readings there. Continue to work that out as we go along there. Our 18.05 again is a result of your first and last. Your two times your odds sums up to 12.052. And four times your even readings gives us 58.92. Finally, that boils down to our volume being 25, uh, every 25 meters, divided by 3 multiplied by 89.022 and that gives us a final volume of 741.85 meters cubed and that is the volume that we would need to excavate in that area there.